not a Jewish person into the temple, which is terribly, terribly, terribly a huge crime for the people who want to serve their God. He's going to be arrested for something he didn't do. He's going to spend two years in prison just outside of Jerusalem. There's going to be plots against his life. The Lord's going to take care of that. And finally, he's going to appeal to Rome because he's not getting a fair trial there. And he'll go to Rome. And all along the way, he'll live his life as a faithful, loyal Christian, showing his love, preaching the gospel, and he'll continue to do that there, and he'll be released. And he'll continue his work. God wants us to continue his work, wherever we are, because we're free. We're free in our Savior, and we want to share that freedom with others, because our sins have been paid for. Amen. We stand. The peace of God that passes all understanding Keep your hearts and minds through faith in Jesus Christ, our Savior. We'll continue now on page 20, page 20 in the hymn. special prayers today we offer a prayer of thanksgiving on behalf of Luke and Ashley Nelson who were blessed with the birth of the baby boy Waylon James Nelson. Father for giving us life and breath, talent and energy we thank you for income and nourishment for honest work and opportunities to be useful we look gratefully to you as our provider. For safety in our travels, we rejoice in the protection your angels give. For national peace, public prosperity, and moral consciousness in all citizens, hear our prayers. Lord Jesus, through you we have the full rights of children of God. What love the Father has lavished on us through our relationship with you. We praise you for saving us and giving you our life as a ransom for our sins. May our spirits revive in the rest and peace of your forgiveness. Holy Spirit, through word and sacrament, restore in us the joy of your salvation. Cause the good seed of the word to produce sturdy faith and godly attitudes and behavior in each believer. We rejoice this day in the fellowship that we enjoy in our congregations and in our city. Keep our parish of synodical leaders faithful to their tasks. Continue to make them men of both courage and prayer. Preserve Christ-centered doctrine and practice in all of our fellowship at all times. Make each of us active in Christian service and supportive of our leaders. Lord of life, we marvel again at the wonderful way in which you bring children into this world. Accept our thanks for holding your protecting hand over this mother and childbirth, and for bringing joy to these parents with the gift of a baby boy. Bless this child. Receive Wayland into your family through the sacrament of holy baptism, and protect him from every danger of body and soul. Give his parents, Ashley and Luke, the love and wisdom and the means to care for this child and be entrusted to them. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the friend of children, who has also taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. We're going to continue recording on pages 21 and 22. And then when I get through the words of institution, right after that, we'll take a short break, we'll get the things out of the way, and we'll have the communion distribution. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly good and right that we should at all times and in all places give you thanks, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and ever living God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who preserves his church to the end of time. He's also promised that wherever two or three come together in his name, there he is with them to be strengthened, to be the shepherd of his flock when he comes again in glory. Therefore, with all the saints on earth and hosts of heaven, we praise your holy name and join their glorious song. Christ in the night he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, this is my blood of the new cup, which is poured out for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. special events coming up. We want to make sure people know about them. Um, one week from today, on August 5th, that will be a special uh, concert, worship service. Um, Sam and John and Rachel and perhaps others will be here to provide special music as well as um, an order of service. And that will be next Thursday, 7 o'clock regular time. Coming up in August, on the third Sunday, I believe that's the 15th, there will be, God willing, an outdoor service, if it is comfortable enough to be able to do that. And that will be good old 
gospel, old time religion music. And so we're looking forward to doing that. It either be indoor or outdoor, and you're all invited to come to that. Regular time, Sunday morning, 9 o'clock. Or next Sunday, August 8th, Pastor Bill Baker, retired pastor from St. Paul's, Alaska, will be here taking care of our worship service. We hope to see you all soon here at Pickford.